For more on the Microsoft right. Skype deal, let's bring in David Garrity, principal at GVA Research. David owns shares of Microsoft and has over 20 years of experience in researching, advising, and managing companies in the technology sector. David, welcome to Bloomberg's Bottom Line. Pleasure to have you on. Thank you very much, You Mark. heard our Corey Johnson summing this up. Uh, talk to me. Did Microsoft pay too much money here? Well, what happens here for Microsoft is if they don't do something to incorporate communications capabilities into their existing range of products, they run the risk of becoming themselves fairly obsolescent. And so what we're looking at here is that while we might have looked at previous instances with Skype where eBay acquired Skype, obviously just their ad communications capability, right. the market's changed a lot from that period of time until now. And so Microsoft obviously faces fairly substantial competitive threats. They needed to buy a technology which they didn't really have the time to invent themselves. They didn't have a choice here or else they get left in the dust? I would argue that you know their competitive risk was that if they didn't do something and do so within the next 12 months, there was a very substantial risk of their being left behind. Well, I just mentioned it to uh, Corey Johnson. Why didn't Microsoft just invent another edition of Skype? Well, the issue for Microsoft is that as a company, they've not really been known all that much for being first movers in terms of technology development. Microsoft has more often than not been a company that's been very strong in terms of seeing what other people have done and then becoming dominant. Obviously, Mark Andreessen could speak to his experience with the Netscape browser and how yeah. Inter Internet Explorer came along and basically took that business away from him. So in that regard, Microsoft as a company, while it's got wonderful technology, cap technology capabilities, isn't necessarily seen as being a successful first mover. Uh, Donald Yachman of Yachman Asset Management, he was on another network today and he said that Microsoft investors would have been better served if the company had bought back shares or agreed to a one-time dividend. What do you think? Uh, I, I think while you know, I might share his sentiments in terms of being a total return investor, I would mm -hmm. think that Microsoft has to maintain a core technology franchise and being able to add in these types of capabilities and to be able to do so sooner by acquisition Probably over the next 12 to 24 months, the value starts to be realized. But near term, you no, know, we can't see that because obviously the transaction doesn't really add anything to EPS. Uh, David, how, how's this deal going to affect consumers? I think for consumers, they're going to find that what is going to be made available to them from Microsoft, not just as consumers, but also in their workplace, is going to be probably stepped up within the next six to 12 months because we're going to be in a situation where Skype remains a freestanding unit in order to accelerate the adoption of the technology across Microsoft's product range. Has Microsoft learned from the eBay experience? One can only hope. Obviously, Microsoft, <laughs> people have to ask, have they learned from their other acquisitions Absolutely. to do a better job of integrating? And obviously, there, the proof is very much in the pudding, and Microsoft's valuation reflects that. More than 98% of Skype's registered users have a free version of the product. Is that going to change? No, I don't think it changes, but I think that we do have, and, and what Skype themselves have been doing is basically been selling on more in the way of um, value-added fee-based services. Is this deal going to face any regulatory hurdles? There will be regulatory scrutiny here in the U.S., but it will be by the Department of Justice and not by the FCC. So, such as? Uh, I mean, to, to the extent the Department of Justice has had review or has had scrutiny over Microsoft um, you know, for the past five years, um, you know, yes, you know, DOJ remains sort of the jurisdiction. But if we look at sort of issues around net neutrality, yeah. one might argue that Microsoft, by doing this acquisition with Skype, do they start, impending, do they start infringing on or, or moving into areas that would be uh, areas of regulatory oversight? site by in the telecommunications area. To what extent might you see someone like a Verizon or an ATT come in and say, look, this is voice over IP communications. Maybe the FCC should be seeing this, but we don't see the FCC as being in a position to review this transaction now. Obviously, yeah. there'll also be a review over in Europe. David Garrity joining us on set. David, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank Pleasure you, Mark. To talk to you. Thanks.